Ah, bonjour, and welcome to the Royal Theatre. Why, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and help tell my story. As are we. In fact, we shall play most of the roles in your story. Uh -huh. I shall pretend to be Gaston. I shall pretend to be the Beast. Oh, and you shall pretend to be Belle. But I am Belle. And you will be marvelous. Why, thank you. I'm sure you'll be marvelous as well. Did you hear that? Another rave review, and we haven't even begun. And so, we begin. Places, please. A scene in the village. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a delightful demoiselle named Belle. And it was on this particular morning that um, you made your way through your small provincial town, book in hand. Oh, thank you. Indeed, Belle loves books. Faraway places. Magic spells. Cheering tools. Heroes in disguise. And happily ever after. Little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I promise I won't keep stopping. What is it? Well, it's Gaston. Uh, yes, Mr. Jones is pretending, pretending to be Gaston. I know. It's just that, well, Gaston had much bigger muscles. Ah! Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and she was a little bit taller. Ah! Uh. Take it back to my life. Uh, little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle. Oh, hello, Gaston. I'll bet you didn't know that today would be your lucky day. Oh, look, there's in town. No. Oh, Jean Ray, the Prince de Beaumont is here for a book signing? Uh, no. Oh, I know. Free turkey legs for everyone. Huzzah! Oh, no. no. Today's the day that all Belle's dreams come true. What do you know about my dreams, Gaston? Well, I actually guess I knew nothing about Belle's dreams. All he really knew was, I'm the most eligible bachelor in the village. I'm strong, I'm handsome, I'm derriere. Debonair. Exactly. <laughs> I'm all the ladies swoon. I'm not all the ladies. Ah, uh, yes, there was one exception. Bill, you're the most beautiful girl in the village, and that makes you the best. And don't I deserve the best? <laughs> There are plenty of fish in the sea. Matter of fact, I know a lovely young lady. Redhead, nice set of fins. <laughs> I'll have Belle for my wife. You can only stink about that. Hi! 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 Belle returned home only to find that her father was missing. My father is missing. Embarking on a nocturnal quest. Fleeing and fright through the forest, she comes upon a dark and mysterious castle. Little does she know, she is about to enter the beastly zone. Je m'appelle Lumière. Sprack at night. Belle Monsieur Centavos, por favor. What is happening? Well, Belle is in the library with the candlestick. <laughs> Beyond that, I haven't a clue. <laughs> you see, Mademoiselle, this is an enchanted castle. We can all talk. All of you? Yeah, but of course. <laughs> uh, my name is Fox, we're at your service. Oh, and I'm Mrs. Potts. And I am Lumiere. 
candles and teapots and clocks. Oh my. <laughs> Belle soon understood that the castle was indeed enchanted, and as she continued to explore, she discovered a magic rose. It's beautiful. Suddenly, out of the shadows sprang forth a beast! Yeah! A hideous beast with crusty yellow fangs, gnarly matted hair, and putrid rotting breath that smelled of garlic and old milk, making her so pale, so repulsive, so outrageously stinky, that any living creature would wither her in its presence! Are you finished? Play on, old creature! What are you doing here? I was you only... realize what you could have done? I didn't mean me harm. Get out. Where's my father? Get out! So, Belle finds out that her father is in the dungeon, not to take care of her father's place, and the beast agrees, letting her father go as long as Belle promised him with him, the beast in the castle, which is great for the beast because it's so lonely, but bad for Belle because who wants to live with the beast? But good for the air and cause with Mrs. Potts because maybe she'll break the spell and they can all be human again! Huzzah! <laughs> The beast was once a handsome prince. Uh, but because of his selfishness, a spell was cast upon him. And all of us who lived in the castle. <laughs> As for the rose, it too was put under a spell. It continued to bloom until this, the prince's 21st year. Uh, as you can see, the petals have begun to fall. But if the beast can learn to love another, and earn her love before the last petal falls, the spell will be broken and we'll all be human again. If not, he will remain a beast for all time. What's the use? She'll never see me as anything but a monster. Well, perhaps there is a way for her to see the good in you. But how? Uh, well, to begin with, you must learn to be kind, courteous. You simply must behave like the prince you really are. And fortunately for us, the king of three leading experts on princely behavior are with us today. Well, this will never work! Oh, you must try. For all our sakes, you must try. And fortunately for us, oh yeah, for we are here to simply help you be your best. Lesson number one. The royal bow. <laughs> Place your left foot behind the right. You slide your right foot forward. You put your left hand in. You put your right hand out. Then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Ah, oh, we. Oui. That's what it's all about. Ha. Lesson number two. The royal dance. So Samuel, some royal dancing music she will play, huh? Okay, mon ami, put your arms up and here we go. At the sway, at the sway, and around you go. Oh, oh, oh. oh so light on your feet. Garlic. Without mm, the royal gaze, oh, play at Samuel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! You are officially a gentleman. Are you ready? I can do this, more man. <laughs> and now, Madame is here. Please welcome the charming and delightful Mademoiselle Belle. His heart was pounding. How could he begin to tell her how he felt? He knew for certain he loved her. Belle, I'm sorry I behaved like, well, a beast. Oh, it's all right. Perhaps I jumped to conclusions. It's true, you know, you really can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> The mood is right, the lights are dim. If music be the food of love, sing along!
tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty and darkness. Where are you, beast? Come on out and fight like a man! <laughs> Once again, a prince fell, became 